Etsy shop tips. Should I open a second Etsy shop? Hey, it's Pam Duffy and if you want to craft your career with creative marketing tips and advice, especially for an artistic person running an Etsy shop, then I do videos like this every Monday, so if it's something you're interested in, don't forget, come back on Monday. So before we get into this video, I just want to ask you if you can leave a comment below, what's your Etsy shop all about? What do you sell in your Etsy shop? So if this is actually a difficult question for you, this might be because you have a wide variety of items in your Etsy shop. So have you ever thought about opening a second Etsy shop? If you can't explain what your shop's all about in a few words, if you don't really know exactly what it is you sell because you sell so many things, this could actually be holding you back. It could be confusing for your customers. So if they decide to follow your shop, heart your shop, follow you on social media, they might be following you because you make knitted baby hats and then the next thing you list is wedding stationery and that's not something they're interested in at all. So that might put them off following you or they might unfollow you because you're just not what they're interested in. Someone might find one of your items through search and like it but perhaps would be more interested in a different colour or something else. So they go to your shop and all they see is a mass of confusing items and they can't find what they're looking for. And people are lazy. When you're shopping you want to better find what you want to buy in one or two clicks. You don't want to have to go searching. I know categories are there but people don't bother with them. They want to click on and go oh that's wonderful, there's 14 things that I like, I'm going to have this, this and this. They don't want to have to trawl through loads of different things. And also having lots of different type of items actually dilutes your search engine optimization. If you haven't already checked my Etsy Secrets video in the cards up there that explains how SEO for Etsy and lots of other places can be boosted up if a shop or a page has an authority on something which is several items listing on similar ground so it can look and say oh this shop is an expert in wedding, wedding stationery instead of oh this shop's a whole loads of things that we don't really understand. And visually it can look amazing. If you've gone to a shop that has lots of similar items with similar photography, it just looks all unified and clean and professional and worth a bit more money than a shop that's a clutter of lots of different things. So there's a few reasons. It could be for you a really good reason to consider opening more than one shop. But of course it might not be for you. It does give you more work. You've got two shops to promote. You've got two logins to deal with. You're usually going to have two emails to remember and check. You've got to keep your finances in place for two different shops, stock take for two different shops. It doesn't quite double up the work but it certainly makes it more work. So I would say if you can, if you can put the time and energy into opening a second shop, then give it a try. But if you don't have the time or you're not quite ready for that, then consider niching down your shop. Look at what is actually good sellers for you just now, what you enjoy making, what you think is working for your shop and then maybe remove the other items for just now. Niche down your shop to that one thing and see how that goes. And if you get that running and that's working really well for you, then in a few months time you can consider the second shop. And if you haven't checked already, this is something I'm working on with my mum. She's a fantastic crafter, but into lots and lots of different things. And late on last year when she was trying to make a new banner for her shop and trying to think what her shop was about, we both realised that she didn't have a niche. She was lots of different things, so we decided to split her shop into two. Now she has our knitting shop, the kind of textile side, and the paper side, which is pictures and cards etc. Just now we're focusing in on Scottish themes. So this is something right from scratch for me to put my money where my mouth is to see how we do opening our own second shop and you can follow along and see how it's going on too. I'll put a link to my mum's shop in the comments below if you want to check her out. And don't forget click my wee face to subscribe and follow along. Come back every Monday and I'll hopefully see you next week.